जय श्री माता जी गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीवन लेट्स ऑल बाउ डाउन टू श्री माता जी रेजा मदर कुंडलिनी एंड पुट बंधन रिसाइट श्री गणेश मंत्रा Let's bring our right hand on the mother earth. Shri Mata ji, kindly balance my left channel. Shri Mata ji, kindly take away all the negativities, all the imbalances. all the concerns of my past into the mother earth through my right hand shramata ji kindly purify and enlighten Let's bring our right hand back on the lap, left hand towards the sky. Shumate ji, kindly balance my right channel. Mother. 
kindly take away all the imbalances all the negativities of my right channel into the sky element shumata ji kindly purify and enlighten our pingla nadi श्री माता जी युवा श्री हनुमान मदर काइंडली स्टैब्लिश ऑल द क्वालिटीज ऑफ श्री हनुमान विद इन एस Let's bring both our hands back on the lap. Shumata ji, kindly establish the complete state of balance within me. Shumata ji. kindly purify and enlighten ashu shumna nadi Let's bring our attention on a sahasra. Shumata ji, kindly establish us in the state of thoughtless awareness. Shumata ji, kindly purify our attention. so that we can feel your lotus feet on our sahasrara mother kindly establish my self realization in this meditative state we will now hear shramata ji speech
The other day in the lecture I told them that there are two genes which are protective. Found only among Asians means Chinese and Indians. All the rest of the people don't have those genes which should protect them. So they are so vulnerable to all these nonsensical things that are going on. And uh, they take to it so easily. I used to wonder how these educated, good people, I mean, people of my husband's ranking also were stupid like that. Every time they would bring a new wife, one day they brought, one of them brought a wife who was hardly about 20 years of age. This fellow is at least 70. I didn't know. My husband pinched me, said, that's, that's his wife, all right? Don't call her a granddaughter. I used to drop bricks after bricks there. Such absurd people coming, and a 70-year-old man coming with a lady who is 20 years. I mean, you can never think that she could be his wife, at the most, uh, sister-in-law, at the most. But I thought she was the granddaughter, so he pinched me and told me that, don't. This is it. You see, it's such a paradoxical world, that if you come from surge to this, you see what's going on, what are they doing? What's the matter with them? Now, taking out clothes, is it something great to take out clothes? You see? In Switzerland, which is such a cold country, I was wearing my sweater, my coat, covering my head, wearing warm socks, everything, because they said, let's go out for, just for a drive. So we got down. There's one lake called Lausanne. Lausanne, Lausanne, there's a very big lake. So as usual, Gregor ran up to see how is the situation there. He came back with a double speed. He said, no, no, Mother, you can't go there. I said, what? No, you can't. I'm sorry, you can't. Let's go. They were all topless women sitting there. You know, this, in Australia, they had, even New Zealand, they had cricket match. They're supposed to be very good cricketers. And when we opened the TV, the women were sitting topless. We closed it, we couldn't see that. But I was told now they are losing in cricket, they will, definitely. Compared to Indian spinners who are young, innocent boys, you see. Very young, 20, 21. They have to be, because there is no innocence, there is no chastity, there is no respect. The women are sitting topless. How can they win? They are insulting the Goddess there only. How can they win? They cannot win. And a game like cricket is something sensible. Even I don't know in any game if they can win, because if this distracts the attention completely. But why do they go like that? Are all women trying to become prostitutes? What is the sense in it? I can't understand. And this is something they don't understand if you tell them that, you see, I was told that Mrs. Thatcher openly said that in this culture women must expose their body. This is such a paradox, can't understand. They show here Mother Mary as the sublime personality, and they show here women as the uh, women who are nude. They want to become Mother Mary, or what do they want to become? And people like this, horrible people like this, Michael Jackson, he is that, are so prominent making money. I mean, just see the paradox. Can you say that this is an advanced country? when the ideas are so, so low, how can it? After coming to Sahaja Yoga, you can see for yourself, but it makes your, these protective genes established in you. This is the thing in Sahaja And suddenly you people have given up all that nonsense, you don't want all that. Actually, if you see it properly, from any logical point of view. You see, without the maya of this nonsense, if you see it, you can logically understand that it is wrong. You see, why do you feel jealous of another man or woman? You feel jealous. That means you want just life, isn't it? People have murdered, women have murdered men or women because they were jealous. If it was natural and normal and joy-giving, you should not have felt bad about it. All these things should logically be understood that why we don't like is happening. 
Or this happens to your own daughter, you may not like. Now, nowadays, there are people who like it also to the daughters. But now, going to that limit of things, like this one person say he has something to do with the daughter, and the whole society is against it today. But maybe tomorrow, with this Maya, this horrible devil Maya, which is anti Maya, will work out, and maybe that nobody will mind it. It may be. If you people do not hold it right into your hands, the culture side of Sahaja, I don't know what's going to happen. If you read newspaper every day, you feel really dizzy, you don't understand in what Maya these people are lost. So it's an anti Maya, because Maha Maya has come, so anti Maya has come. Fifty years back or sixty years back, it was not that bad, I can tell you. Once in a while, people used to do something nonsensical, but now it is rampant. But it now has become a fashion. It's worse than that is that accepted as a fashion. And if you are not in it, you are out. You have to be in the madhouse. You should see this clearly, because now you have come into the Maya of God. Maya also means love, love, the God's love. And in that, your eyes should open out and see what horrible things these star do. What is this disco? You know, in India they brought the disco, and of course, some boys who were Muslims actually were rich, and uh, they carried young girls because in disco the law was that you must bring a partner. Young girls who were adults, maybe not be adults also, and started giving them alcohol, drinking, and they got lost. The parents wouldn't accept them, they had to go to brothels or they were sold out. Or I don't know what happened to them. But that is the reaction in that country. It may be one day they will be accepted, one day we'll have the same thing, because it has such an overpowering effect. And that's why the Maya of God is such, this, all these beautiful things are there. So, you can get lost with it, you can see it, you can picture it, you can paint it. But no, they are not. They are not interested. They'll make this also ugly. They'll make every picture ugly. They'll make every face ugly. So this is the anti-Maya that is there. And for that you need a Mahamaya to correct it and to solve the problem. The <coughs> complete working of the Divine depends on you people wherever you are. How many you are is not the point, wherever you are, how intense you are, how you want to work it out, how you want to put uh, uh, your attention to. It's very important how you are going to do it, because you people should understand the responsibility. This world is getting drowned, and I feel that at least 80% people will be finished. Ten would be hanging in between in limbo, I think. Really. And ten percent will be Sahaja is the way it is moving in the West. Maybe in India, may not be, I can't say. India is very fast moving Sahaja Also Russia and all these Eastern Bloc people are just jumping into it. I don't know how they have discovered me so easily. They say my face is evident, I don't know, makes them think. The another Maya is of power, and the power of money, if they can avoid, then they try to have power over territory of the land, this, that. That also made them mad quite a lot in the past, but now they are all fighting for some nonsensical land, which will never belong to them. It stays here permanently, eternally, but the fights are going on. Then in the name of religion, they are fighting for this area, that area, or they are fighting for, say, just for uh, changing their religion or getting more people in that religion. I don't know what is their idea of religion is. Is religion meant for that? Just think of it. Nobody thinks like that. What is it meant for? So, here again the Mahamaya has to work, and the Mahamaya works this way, that she integrates all the religions. It shows that all religions 
are the same, have the same spirituality, is on the same tree of spirituality they have gone. Instead of making people spiritual, they have made them money-oriented or they have made them power-oriented. I mean, it's the other way now. It's like the tree growing underneath or something, something absurd that you cannot explain. And that is the thing, is that illusive. That illusiveness is called Maya. And this illusiveness appeals to many people. Appeals, that's the point I'm worried about. Something is elusive, then they go on running after that like a mirage, and ultimately they are destroyed. So, what you see a picture just now is that at least so many 10% people will be saved at the most. But it's a very sad affair because it has taken so much effort to make human beings, to make them all right, to make them sensible. And now what you find is that they are going to be all finished. It's too much to bear, too much to believe in, but it is going to happen if you people do not take it up seriously and work it out. For you also there should not be any illusions, because many of you are more busy with other things. To you other things are more important than Sahaja Yoga. But whatever you are doing, you can bring in Sahaja Yoga into that. Into anything you can bring in Sahaja Yoga. I said in politics, in agriculture, in social life, in your jobs, everywhere you can bring Sahaja By your own behavior, by your own uh, intelligence, you can bring in Sahaja Yoga into every field, which you have to think about where can we take Sahaja where can we work it out. And this is what is to get into the Maya of God that you get rid of all the illusions which are false, which do not allow you to see the right thing, and then seriously to get into the productive side of Sahaja Yoga. And imagine how productive is Sahaja Yoga, how the miracles work out, how there is this Divine Power is anxious to help you, despite all this Mahamaya and other. I'll give you the example of my grandson now, because this time we had a big Maya on him. He was, I told him that you should not go to Cambridge, you know, so they don't give ad admissions normally, and moreover, it's more sort of theoretical things, not good for you, will be boards too, there. So don't go. He won't listen to me. Then he agreed, all right, if I get admission in these, these big universities in America, but he didn't try nothing of the kind. Last minute, we sent him uh, a application, and he sent that application. Last minute. They said, you cannot come, this is that, you have to appear for this exam, that exam, that exam, and then he got a fright. You see, it, he learnt. My God, I thought so easy to go to America, it is not. Even if you certify many of it's not easy. Then he started thinking that, what was I thinking about Cambridge, Cambridge so much? This is the same, equally the same difficult thing. Until then he wanted to go for SAT, there to sit down, uh, sit for an exam. But actually the appearing of the examination was only after six days, and I thought, how can he go? Six days he cannot prepare even. So they said, you cannot come for SAT. Now he was settled down in it. He didn't know what to do. Still he was saying, I'll try for this Cambridge again, and this. I said, now forget it. He wouldn't listen to me. Then he was very disappointed. He telephoned to me to say that, I think that if I have to go to America, I'll go in a good university, otherwise no use going to a cheap university, I can get better education in it. So I said, all right. Then I gave a bandha. He wanted to go abroad and learn something, it's all right. Can you imagine, it has worked like a real miracle. The university wrote to him that he is admitted unconditionally. Nobody did anything, nobody wrote anything, nothing, they have said it. See, they, none, none of them can understand what has happened, how did they get unconditional admission. So, you see, it's a miracle. But before that, this Maya was to be played, otherwise you would never have seen uh, the importance of it. So, in your lives also, such a Maya plays. When you do not want to do the right thing, all right, do it, you do this, all right, do that, do that. Ultimately, you learn a lesson. I don't say no, if you say, Mother, I want to do it, all right, go ahead. I want to do that, oh, go ahead. 
whatever you want to do. If I find you congenial, I may tell you that better not do, it's not going to help. But then they, when they get a complete uh, disillusionment, then they take to the right decision, come to the right thing. Because, see, let them try with their own freedom. But then they realize that what Mother said was right, I should have done that, all right. So this is it. The Maya is like this, that it allows you to do what you like. You use your freedom. You go places to places, do what you want to do. Whatever you think it proper, you do it, all right. This is the part of the Maya. But Mahamaya is that which brings you back, brings you back to normal brings you back to reality, to understand. It is at that point, when you understand Mahamaya, like I would say Russians did, how they understood that I am doing greater work than Einstein. See, so what is Einstein? Yes. He is just working with the matter. You are working with human beings, do you realize, Mother? To them I am higher than all of them greater than all of them, which is a fact also, I must say, it is a fact in a way that the way work is done. But it doesn't mean that uh, it's something to be ego about it, because if I am made like that, I am doing it. What is so special? I have been like this, so I am like that. What is so special? One gets the pride and the ego only when you think you are doing something more beyond you. See, it's all there. I have already got it. Now see, this tent is meant to give shade. Now, if it is giving shade, should it have ego? Sun is meant to give you light. If it is giving light, it's giving light because it's God has given him the light to be given, so he's giving light to you. Should he have ego? But you, be, you see, assume that you have got something special about you. Then you have to do that, whatever special you have. Now, the flowers are so beautiful, they are so special, so charming. I mean, I couldn't take out my attention from them, they are so beautiful, all right. But if they are so, they are so. What is that? They are not going to have ego about it, that we are so good, we are so beautiful. No, none of them. So this ego comes when there is, again, the Mahamaya part of it, that you are in the uh, Maya of your own understanding. Now you are Sahaja Yogis. You should be very proud, you should be, I don't know, how the, look at these horrible people who are not at all connected with God, they have nothing to do. Yesterday that lady, she gives me a lecture that, why don't you praise the Lord, you see, she's giving me a lecture. <laughs> so, it is just a sort of a assumption that I am something great, that makes you ego, but that is also a maya, because you have to learn. Ultimately, your ego breaks and you understand that oh, Humpty Dumpty it was. Once you discover that, oh, no, I don't want to have ego anymore. I mean, there are some Sahaja Yogis who refuse to do any work of Sahaja Yoga. I said, why? Mother, we are too intelligent and our intelligence cheats us and we will develop ego. I said, now, this is an escape. It won't. Sahaja Yoga can never give you ego, but will give you joy. If it is giving you ego, it's not such. It should just give you joy. Giving somebody to realization, or somebody you curing, somebody being kind, anything, it just gives you satisfaction and you enjoy. It's a fact. I mean, you have come all the way here, you are playing such good music, all this now you learnt Indian style, I don't know how. Anybody should be very full of ego, but no in the Maya of your Mother, you just enjoy. Maya should give you enjoyment. That's the best thing that this Maya can give, and you can enjoy it so much. I think it is a very beautiful uh, atmosphere created by this Mahamaya. So you can enjoy each other, you can enjoy my company, you can enjoy nature. Such a report, such a uh, beautiful uh, understanding between everything else is there. Nobody is bothered as to who is higher, who is lower, what is the position, how much money he has got or what he has got. Nothing. Just 
we are all enjoying. If somebody has a talent, he enjoys because he has a talent, and the others also enjoy because he has talent. No jealousies, uh, no rivalries, nothing. Somebody sings better, all right. They'll tell me, Mother, you know, he sings very well. There's one fellow in uh, Paris, uh, he is, I think he's a black, uh, from the black uh, side, because he has very curly hair, a very, very nice boy. So suddenly somebody came uh, from Italy. Mother, do you know he dances very well? How do you know I've seen him dancing? So when did you see me dancing? He asked. Oh, you came to that program, I saw that. In a group he saw him. He just got hold of him, you better dance before me. It was so much, you see, it's so, so jai this kind of thing. He saw him in some sort of a program where there were at least 2,000 people dancing. He picked him out. Now he is from Paris and he is from Italy. And how his eyes picked him up and he brought him, Mother, you better dance before Mother, must. you are very good. And he was. But you see, I might have missed it or whatever it is. And even if I have seen it, I may not have asked him. But this fellow went down there and he's caught hold of him and he put him. I mean, these things are so joy giving. It says, otherwise, in the normal course, what one would do? Come before me and start dancing, whether no or not, and try to show off normally. But the one who knows, never brought like that, now come along. And in such an impersonal way, he saw it. He brought him. It makes no difference whether they are from Russia or from America or from India. So all these differences which are skin deep are finished. And I find everybody appreciates everybody's talent, everybody how he speaks. And suddenly you'll find somebody say, Oh, he's such a jam. When did you meet him? No, I've heard about him. You see, all this appreciation and all this uh, beautiful feeling for others, you see, is only possible through such. No jealousies, no rivalries, nothing. These come because of ignorance which creates the Maya about yourself. I am this, I am that, and then the I comes down like that. So, all conditionings also can create a Maya. Many conditionings are there that I am from such a family, I am from such a thing. That all has to be stopped. So, today's special day is this of New Year's, where they said now today is the most auspicious day to start something new, and this Mahamaya's dissolving has to be started. Gradually, you should try to understand. Many people ask me, well, how did you do it? Forget it, it's Mahamaya. Forget it. How did I do it? Just forget it. That part you need not go into. Just enjoy. Just enjoy that you are in that Maya and you are enjoying it. It's the best way to enjoy this Mahamaya. And today, for the first time, we have this puja of Mahamaya. Because of Guri Parva, I thought something unique must be done. Which encompasses everything of such. Everything of such. It's not one incarnation, it's not one Nadi, it's not one Goddess, but all of it is there. It's sometimes I say, like a film is a audio, visual, everything is there. Drama, music, also acting, everything is there in a film now. I mean, that far. Everything integrated. In the same way, I think Mahamaya has everything. Every part that you tell me, everything that you enjoy, everything that you discover, everything is in that region of Mahamaya which has been created for you. May God bless you.
will recite the three maha mantras Thank you Shri Mata ji for this beautiful collective morning meditation Let's all bow down to Shri Mata ji Raise our mother Kundalini and put bandhan. We'll join again tomorrow at the same time for the collective morning meditation. Jai Shri Mataji.